he felt a great overreaction. Harry tore his eyes from his head and threw them into the forest. <laughs> Hello everybody, it is Regulus here and welcome to a brand new video in which we read AI generated Harry Potter. That's right guys, today we are reading the spellbinding national bestseller, Harry Potter and the portrait of what looked like a large pile of ash. That's right guys, by Botnik, which is the AI website that it was done with. So, chapter 13, The Handsome One. The castle grounds snarled with a wave of magically magnified wind. The sky outside was a great black ceiling, which was full of blood. The only sounds drifting from Hagrid's hut were the disdainful streaks of his own furniture. Magic. It was something that Harry Potter thought was very good. Levery sheets of rain lashed at Harry's ghost as he walked across the grounds towards the castle. Ron was standing there and doing a kind of frenzied tap dance. He saw Harry and immediately began to eat Hermione's family. That's exciting. Ron's Ron shirt was just as bad as Ron himself. If you two can't clump happily, I'm going to get aggressive, confessed the reasonable Hermione. <laughs> What about Ron magic? Offered Ron. To Harry, Ron was a loud, slow, and soft bird. <laughs> Harry did not like to think about birds. Death Eaters are on top of the castle, Ron bleated, quivering. Ron was going to be spiders. He just was. <laughs> he wasn't proud of that, but it was going to be hard to not have spiders all over his body after all is said and done. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> this is so good. Look, said Hermione. Obviously there are loads of Death Eaters in the castle. Let's listen in on their meetings. The three complete friends zapped onto the landing outside the door to the castle roof. They almost legged it, but witches are not climbing. Ron looked at the doorknob and then looked at Hermione with searing pain. I think it's closed, he noticed. Locked. <laughs> said Mr. Staircase, the shabby robed ghost. <laughs> they looked at the door, screaming about how close it was and asking it to be replaced with a small orb. <laughs> the password was Beef Woman, Hermione cried. <laughs> Oh. Harry, Ron, and Hermione quietly stood behind a circle of Death Eaters who looked bad. I think it's okay if you like me, said one Death Eater. Thank you very much, replied the other. The first Death Eater confidently leaned forward to plant a kiss on his cheek. <laughs> oh, I'm not going to make it through this whole thing. Oh, well done, said the second. As his friends stepped back again, all the other Death Eaters clapped politely. Then they all took a few minutes to go over the plan to get rid of Harry's magic. Harry could tell that Voldemort was standing right behind him. He felt a great overreaction. Harry tore his eyes from his head and threw them into the forest. Voldemort raised his eyebrows at Harry, who could not see anything at the moment. What is this? This is amazing! Voldemort, you're a very bad and mean wizard, Harry savagely said. Hermione nodded encouragingly. The tall Death Eater was wearing a shirt that said, Hermione has forgotten how to dance. So Hermione... <laughs> so Hermione dipped his face in mud. Ron threw a wand at Voldemort, and everyone applauded. Ron smiled. Ron reached for his wand slowly. Ron's the handsome one, muttered Harry as he reluctantly reached for his. They cast a spell or two, and jets of green light shot out of the Death Eaters' heads. Ron flinched. Not so handsome now, thought Harry, as he dipped Hermione in hot sauce. <laughs> the Death Eaters were dead now. And Harry was hungrier than he had ever been. <laughs> As he dipped Hermione in hot sauce. 
<laughs> the Great Hall was filled with incredible moaning chandeliers and a large librarian who had decorated the sinks with books about masonry. Mountains of mice exploded. Several long pumpkins fell out of McGonagall. <laughs> Dumbledore's hair scooted next to Hermione as Dumbledore arrived at school. The pig of Hufflepuff pulsed like a large bullfrog. Dumbledore smiled at it and placed his hand on its head. <laughs> you are Hagrid now. <laughs> We're the only people who matter. He's never going to get rid of us, Harry, Hermione and Ron said in chorus. The floor of the castle seemed like a large pile of magic. The Dursleys had never been to the castle and they were not about to come there in Harry Potter and the portrait of what looked like a large pile of ash. Harry looked around and then fell down the spiral staircase for the rest of the summer. <laughs> I'm Harry Potter, Harry began yelling. The dark arts better be worried, oh boy. <laughs> this is fantastic. Oh my god. Oh my god, I've not laughed that much in so long. Harry Potter and the portrait of what looked like a large pile of ash. Guys, I will leave the link to this book in the description. Go check it out. It's fantastic. I wish the whole book was done. If you guys know any other AI generated texts, let me know because I would love to read them on this channel. That was so much fun. Oh my god. Anyway, guys, if you enjoyed this AI generated Harry Potter reading, leave a like, let me know, and peace out everybody. I hope you enjoyed.